Speaking of at games, this is going to be fun, folks, because Jared mm-hmm. doesn't know any of this information. <laughs> I have so not seen what we're about to talk about yet. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get we're going to get some genuine um, uh, reaction from Jared. But uh, okay, so essentially, here's the deal: at games announced finally the Tato pinball that was teased a while ago, mm-hmm. um, and what those tables are going to be, and they've got imagery of what those are going to look like. And I oh. thought, well, hey, we just did this with uh, Zen, with Noir, and uh, to be yet named Space Pirates of the Pirate uh, Pirates game. of the Green Hills. Right. <laughs> 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 um, so I thought that, hey, why not Why not do the same thing? We, I mean, we obviously couldn't can't play those yet either so mm. let's take a look at these and you know see what the layouts are like and what the art package is like and what's good what's bad um yeah and i'm down for that go for that go from there okay so uh first things first jared mm-hmm. who do you think made these tables for at games <sighs> okay so I don't think it's Farsight. Um, I think it might be the VPX community. You are correct that it is not Farsight. And on that front, I think we can officially close the door on Farsight and Pinball. Yep, Maybe that's done. it. It's bye there, bye, done. R.I.P. You're you're out of the you're out of the game completely. Farsight is no longer a producer of digital pinball tables. No. It is, however, Magic Pixel. Magic Pixels are doing the dare. Yeah. This might not suck then. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Pixel has gotten the, uh, gotten the go-ahead. Yeah, so I'm excited for Magic Pixel to go this route. And this is great. I think once you see the imagery, you're going to recognize the Magic Pixel art style very much. Okay. Okay. Lay so it on me. Let's let's take a look. Here we go. The first of the Tato tables that uh, they're creating a pinball for is for a little game called Darius or Darius. I'm not sure. Oh, great shoot 'em up. It looks a little something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, let me uh, full screen. That's a very, boy. a very um, classic '80s layout, isn't it? Though what now they call that a, a street level playfield. They call that, you know, right. Um, lots of very, very bright colors, which mm-hmm. fits in with the 80s vibe um, of it. They've got a nice little horseshoe up the um, the top left of the play field. Horseshoe and up here, yeah. Looks like um, they've got stand-up targets everywhere on it. Now, no drops. I am not showing you the back glass. It has okay. reels. So this is an EM. This is an EM. This looks like an EM. It looks like an EM. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. And that's good for Magic Pixel for the first couple they're releasing because that should Oops. be easy enough to do. To do. That to should do be that. easy enough to do art for, um, and uh, rules. Sorry, um, for because I have to make their own rules. Okay, so there I got it nice and big. Let's take a look. Yeah, okay, so good. here we go down at the bottom. Um, obviously, we've got a very long return lane uh, for in lanes. Yeah, the... we've got the in lanes. You've got this interesting little. Uh, Loopy thing. Loopy thing over there, which again, that's a very classic EM style uh, mm. thing. Uh, classic insert lights going on here. Looks like we have yep. a light, e- light extra ball inserts over here. We've got a third flipper, which is not necessarily an EM thing. No, not normally. So we're doing a little bit of difference, but obviously that's to shoot these stand-up targets over here. Um, which advances whole score as the right. play field. The thing that I like about what they've done here so far, Chris, is they've really kept that like EM style where all the instructions are on the play field. Yes. Yes. That's really nice that they've actually gone with that pattern. Yes. Um, two pop bumpers. Yep. Classic uh, three rollovers, three at, the rollovers at the top. Like you said, you've got this horseshoe that looks like it's only accessible from this uh, mid flipper. Uh, we've got a saucer, capture saucer, that I'm assuming is progressive for yep. scores. Looks, like, Looks it. like it kicks it out to here. Once you kick it to yep. your flipper, once you could loop around, you know. So Looks that's... like the, oh, yes, so the horseshoe is one direction only because they've got the um, the directional oh, gate. Oh, yeah, right, it's got top. a gate right there. Mm-hmm. So you can only shoot that horseshoe from that upper flipper. 
Yep. Yep. Um, so anyway, that's a pretty classic design right there. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. I, I reckon shabby, that would right? shoot well. Oh, that'd shoot well, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. So there's Darius. Let's take a look at the next one, shall we? Which is... Oops. If I can get it to... Where's the there, There's the arrow. There's the arrow. All right, this is Frontline. <clears throat> Never heard of that game. Never heard sure. of this game. This uh, just looks like a very flat version of Bonsai Run, but... Um, okay, so <laughs> that's your... You know what? I My first impression was, was Genie. Oh, Yeah. I'm just more looking at the colors and the and the feeling of, that I get from it at first mm -hmm. look at like I can see what you're saying with Genie with the upper playfield. Yeah. But that that, that I um, mean this this upper playfield right here that's full on Genie. Oh yeah, that's full on Genie. That is for sure. Full on Genie. Um yeah. other than I don't know the Genie has I don't know this flipper is weird. That looks really bizarre that Is that placement. Is that like a stationary flipper? Like it's not an active no. flipper? That, that's an active flipper, but they've Do really you think? Put because a there's a location. there's a screw right here. So it's not yeah, like it's, this is going to be able to go underneath. That there's rubbers that I see. No, that's the that's the bottom position of that flipper, and then it will flip up. So Just a it'll quick actually. Flip? Act that's weird. It's really bizarre. Like, I would bizarre. not have designed it like that. You can see why they've done it though. Let's have a look at the the two, um, the horizontal, the, the vertical pieces of plastic. They're right, both the right same there, length. Right there. So mm -hmm. really, what they probably wanted wanted to do is put the flipper up higher, but then they have that path coming out of the return lanes at the top. Yeah, and they couldn't quite do that. What well, what they should have done is they should have worked. Uh -oh. Yeah, they should have grouped yeah. the two flippers closer together and moved them down, like okay. that. And so they're equal because that's going to really. We're having screw up your geometry on the field. Isn't that fun? Like, but... okay, we're, we're we're having some issues with you, Jared. <laughs> you, you, yeah, we, we, it's we had two strange stutters, internet, folks. Yeah, we had two stutters. Yeah. So hopefully, so... Jared's uh, stuff will pick up but um now it is interesting to note these return there were the rollover lanes up here looks like it's a hard mm. piece of plastic feeds directly to this flipper here this is an interesting little horseshoe it looks like yeah that's gonna go behind that drop target bank yeah there's a path behind the drop oh yeah target you're right bank, so yeah. it's gonna feed to over here which probably yep. gonna roll over feed to there which yeah and then go back down to Goes back your to lane. Oh, your return lanes again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where it's gonna go. Right. Okay. Um again Again, art style great. Art yeah, style's really great. It, it very much captures uh an EM style uh that era of just vibrant, colorful. Um Yeah. Uh, the I, artwork is good too. Like I like the the style that they've used here. Look at that mm -hmm. bonus count, that's far fella right there. Um, oh, that's the, right the, here. The bonus, the bonus curve, like mm -hmm. that, is definitely a foul follower, I think, mm -hmm. or like, yeah, the butterfly table. Yeah, I'd um, be very curious if anybody can identify if these are partial reskins of anything, if they're taking influence from any Gottlieb's out there, if they're just uh, redoing any of their. It doesn't look like I, redos of any of the Zacharia that I know of. And, no, these look like unique designs. Yeah, and and folks, just just for the record. Yes, we say Zachariah around here. I don't know who this Zakaria business is, but uh -uh. Uh, even in the one of the games, when their their speech says Zakaria or Zakaria, not Zakaria. I don't know. It's, 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 no, I've it's noticed Zakaria. that a few. Uh, I've noticed the few that they do Zakaria, and I'm like Zakaria. <laughs> it's Zakaria. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway, side note, tangent. Just had to go there. Mm. All right. Mm. So that's Frontline. Let's uh, get off of our Zoom I, so we can... I don't even know where what that game is. I don't either. Most... Of, I, mean, I shouldn't say most. There's quite a few no. of these uh, Tato games that I have no clue what they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, next, Rastan Saga. That sounds familiar to me, but I don't quite know what the game's about. I have heard that name before. Um, yeah. But... It yeah, would have been okay. nice if if at games had of you know taken the glass off so that the Legends pinball logo wasn't reflected. <laughs> hey, at least you know it's actually recorded on the on the, the machine. Yes, that is on the true. machine. That is so true. that's neat. 
That is true. All right, so let's do a little uh, zoom in on this and see what we see here. So... Okay, I like the fact that they've gone with that sort of, like in the, just above the... Uh, the mesh look um, that they did on some of the other games. Hold on, is there it's like the silk screening look, right? There um, we go. For like a, a different texture. I don't mm -hmm. know the name of that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That sort of like dot mask that they put over it. Yeah, yeah, that it's, shadow it's, mask. It's it's the four color. It's, it's got a name. I just can't remember the name. I know, and I can't remember it either. But uh, it's definitely what was done back in the yeah, day. Yeah, but that's like, really cool. Again, that's layers. really authentic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. here it looks so like it looks we've like got above the head there. Drop targets here. Drop targets, city. drop targets here. Drop targets here. Looks like there's drop targets right two here. Two drop targets here. there. Yeah. And then we're going another two pop bumpers. Again, another upper flipper. Is that a more drop targets? Yeah, more drop targets here. Is that? Do you think is that a saucer? It doesn't look like a saucer. No, it's not a saucer. It's a it's an insert. Ooh, that's a yeah. weird shot to try and get your ball to because that's the only way that it's going to get there is from presumably your left flipper, right? Yeah, that's a tight shot. That's a tight shot, and it's going to... There is no rubber right here, so it might do Maybe a nice soft underneath. thud, and then you can... Or it could be, there could be a hidden over. source underneath there or something. Yeah, maybe a magnet, possible. Hmm. Uh, the only way to get over to the rollovers is you're going to do a right flipper shot up into this. Oh, yeah. Um, I assume you're, maybe your pop bumpers are going to do a nice kick over there. Yeah, I think your pop bumpers will probably feed that um, that upper right flipper. Mm -hmm, um, probably. So you can get a shot on it. It'll just flop over there. But yeah. it won't be, a, it'll be a bit of a, it'll be interesting to see how that one flips from yeah. like getting that ball up there. It's a tight shot. That's real tight. That's laser. So it is kind of interesting one. that they're picking, they're doing real reels scoring on this huh. EM, but these feel very much like early solid state with that Does, many drop targets, yes, that would yeah. be really solid state. This feels solid state, so it's kind of a, interesting that they chose to go the EM scoring route rather than. I think going... I know why. So they're either going to do one or two things with the sound. They're going to actually have chimes, or they're going to have that really early crossover when they had like the like early solid state, but they still had reels. So it'd be like beeps and boops. Okay. Um, for the sound effects. I think. Well, unless you're going to go and completely like bridge generations and actually have sound effects and speech and reels and weird sort of like pseudo I 70s, 80s layouts. I think that's what's going to be because uh, you'll see the next table uh, has exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So our next table for this current pack is Space Invaders. Space Invaders. Okay, Space there's a ramp. Space Invaders. We're actually off the play field. Okay, there's a whole, there's a couple of differences on this one. Uh, this is the one that they actually had video of the game okay. running. Okay, uh, so you could hear the sound. It's using the sounds from the game, from okay. Space Invaders. Okay, so it's definitely using all of those. Uh, okay, the cool. other difference is this is being treated like a DMD game, in terms of it's got a DMD. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, that being said, it's. Zacharia's DMD, where it's either scores or some fireworks, and that's the extent of mm. DMD animations. Um, that's a shame. Which Look has not gone super. that has not gone well over on the uh, the Facebook page for no <laughs> that game. that's slack. Um, I, I can bet because I wouldn't be happy about that either. Yeah. That's that's just so you're right. Lazy. Interesting flipper position over here on the left. The flipper looks like it's a gate for the outlane. Kind it's of really. Right? Oh, I can see what it's shooting for. It's shooting for that target over just here, on the right. over there. That, yep, because you can't glance that from the from a late left flipper shot. You'd have to shoot from that. I think that you're right, there, because but... that would wind up hitting the slingshot instead. Yeah, you'd be too late. You wouldn't be able to get angle on it. But so... you're right, There's because there is the, uh, the post is right here. It's touching the post. Yeah. So that's kind of an interesting aspect. And have a look at the characters. Like, there's two characters that look like they're standing on the play field and they've got things above them. And they are. Okay, so like a... there's also some animated characters. They're tiny. Um, yeah. And from what I could tell was they were just moving forward a little bit and then they'd disappear. And then they'd move forward a little bit and disappear. And 
Oh. Similarly, there were some characters, if we come up top here, that look like this monster uh, that were coming down a little bit. So what I find interesting about this is uh. they didn't go with what you would think of as space invaders. Um, with like... Right. If my, my initial thought for space invaders, and I was kind of shocked, was I expected a whole bank of insert lights up here. Yeah. Uh, almost like almost like Pinbot, that you would have to, you know, the, the, yep. the matrix grid, and that you would be having to hit a bank of targets up top and to knock out the invaders. That's what mm, what I had thought would you know yep. this would be. Um, and that's not the case at all. So I find that really kind of interesting that they went a completely different route. Once you know, again, the, ignoring the video game, just like Bally did the with other their thing, Space Invaders. <laughs> well, because I kind of have to. Well, yeah. um, well, <laughs> but the thing that's interesting, and they could have done this approach with Space Invaders too, had a whole row of drop targets, mm -hmm. like at the top, like spaced out like invaders, and mm -hmm. you could sharp shoot those drop targets. That would have been satisfying as hell if they mm -hmm. did that. Because uh, I love a good drop target, like you know, and that would be great yeah. to shoot at. So we've got stand-up targets over here on the left. Yeah. Uh, we've got this lane that goes underneath this ramp that I'm assuming feeds. Where is that going? So, Somewhere. I don't know where that. I don't goes. know where that lane goes. I um, can't see it. It's covered by the ramp. Yeah, I don't know where that goes. Obviously, we've got a ramp up here that feeds into this wire form that goes all the way down, feeding back to your left flipper. We've got a second ramp that's obviously hit by this upper flipper. Uh, comes around what, and drops into... Go? I don't know what that is. What is is that, that a... Like, there's no rollovers. No, but there aren't. What, what does that do? Is that like an upper play field we just can't see the transparency on or something? No. Like is... No, it's it's because this is... This that's is street your, level. That's where your, your rubber would be, right? Unless it's magnets or... or because he's going to just drop the ball right here. And just plop down. And plop what, down what almost like a center drain. I have no idea. That is weird. And you saw gameplay of this, right? They have gameplay available. There is gameplay video available of this, yes. Anything of that area? Do they show anything uh, about what's I, going I, I didn't, up there? I didn't notice. Um, I didn't study it too too hard. Um, hmm. I don't know. And then obviously we have this ramp here that feeds this flipper. Yeah, and that, which then will allow you to do a cross play field shot to that other right. ramp, which will feed the weird no rollover targety area right. thing up there. Right. Okay. That's going to so, have to translate into some sort of gameplay element because that doesn't make sense just looking at it. So, again, you notice though, it's still a relatively flat presentation. It's firepower era play field right. layout. Right. Firepower 2, actually, yeah. play field layout. Yeah. So here's what I want to point out with these, and I'm going to uh, let me just cycle through back to the beginning of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take a look at these, and just tell me your visually looking at this whole thing, Jared. What does your mm -hmm. eye do? Do these feel very flat to you? Yeah, that that one okay. in particular has no. No real feeling of dimension to now, it. Now, does that remind you of something Farsight did? <laughs> and I've mentioned it already. Um, you might have to remind me because Genie, <laughs> when all... when Genie first oh, came out, Genie. it was so brightly. There's there's no shadow. There's no contrast. There's no depth. It's just this That's completely true. flat look. Now, and I brought it up here just to show you they did improve it eventually. Yeah, they put some they, light and shade on it. Right. They darkened this middle section up a little bit, let the lights take a little more center stage. Um, yeah. So here we can see... Let me zoom in on this just so we can see the difference and how close that front line... Oops. Uh, there we go. On this upper play field. So, okay, so yeah. the difference is... It's a little bit wider. It gets fed by the pop bumper here. We've got the yep. two flippers here, but that top is definitely similar. This flipper over here is definitely similar. I yep. think that's about where the similarities end, though. Yep. Like that. If you take a look at that one, and you compare that to their take on that upper left play field, yeah, it, it's genie all the way from a design perspective. Like right. that makes a lot more sense. It's symmetrical. Right. 
uh, it feels better yeah. to shoot because, you know, we play Genie plenty of times. Mm -hmm. We know how it feels. So, you know, it's got a much better feel to it. So it'd be really awesome. This is lessons that I would like Magic Pixel to apply, which is mm -hmm. uh, darken some things up so that your lights pop a little more, put more detail on your pop bumpers, and that they're not the same detail all the way around, but there's actually, you know, you can see a little bit darker and then it starts getting brighter as it's coming around. Um, yep. There's detail on the flippers where there's, you know, you can see texture um, yep. on the flippers. And that's a, flat. That's a big thing is adding texture. Look at the rollover buttons. You know, they, they added the highlight. That highlight wasn't there originally when Farsight made this. Um, no, that's not technically a rollover, but I get what you're saying. Like the but, inserts but, have right, a you bit of dimension. Mean, it, it just gives, because these are really flat tables no matter what they are. Yeah, and when you go, sure. and when you go with a top down view on them, uh, it's really going to make them, them feel that way. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, that's something that, uh, maybe they can learn their lesson on, but I don't know. Um, uh, hopefully. All right. So now the next bit of news pricing. Mm. How much do you think Jared? Uh, how many tables you get? Four. Okay. What about, let's go four bucks a table. Okay. So 16 bucks for the pack? 16 ish, yeah. The answer is $25. So, that's and it's like coming out July 4th. It's six, six bucks a table. Six bucks a table for EMs. Mm, a little a steep. A little steep. That's uh, <clears throat> some of that yeah. game's pricing going on right there. Um, it's basically the Magic Pixel price mm -hmm. plus the at games premium. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. seeing a lot of people say, well, there's licensing. Huh. If only there was another company that did licensing and put out table packs. Oh, gee, that'd be so interesting to compare prices on. <laughs> mm, wouldn't it, though? Wouldn't it, though? Um, yeah, so... 25 bucks for this pack comes out July 4th. There's going to be three packs in total. We can take a look so at the... 12, uh, 12 games. Yeah, so we can take a look at the next pack, which will be Operation Wolf, Zookeeper, Chack and Pop. Never heard of that one. What? I know. <laughs> What's that? And uh, Elevator Action. Elevator. Well, that's some good themes in there, except for Chuck and Pop, whatever that is. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. No idea. Um, that's coming out, I guess it's coming out on Owner's Day, uh, whatever day that's going to be uh, in the fall, yeah. in autumn. Again, 25 mm -hmm. bucks for that pack. Uh, and there's no imagery for these. I No. Awesome. I went, I went and found the imagery. <laughs> and mm. after that, we have Thanksgiving here, so late November for those of you that uh, don't have, you know, aren't in the States. It's going to be The Legend of Cage, Rainbow Islands, Bubble Bobble, and Arkanoid. Now, Arkanoid, that one... Dude, that needs 5 billion drop targets. Oh, yeah, just everywhere. Like, <laughs> just yeah. just and, like four rows of drop targets that you got to pound through. <laughs> absolutely. Like, that's that's what you need there. Um, even, I mean, they wouldn't do this, but they could really like have fun with that. If Zen was to do that, they would make that very, very unrealistic. <laughs> and they would actually put like like drop targets, but well, they would be you, more reflective of the level design in Arkanoid. If you is, think about like, it, Zen has done, well, they, they haven't done Arkanoid, but they have played with the mechanic of uh, on Doom and on Rebels. And I'm not sure if there's a, a third one, but where you're moving a character, across the bottom with your flippers yeah. balls hitting and you're trying to hit targets to knock them down yep. um, very much like even, the shadow play field even in uh, Alien Isolation there's a mini game that is exactly Arkanoid mm. yeah you know, where you're breaking the uh, uh, you're hacking when you do hacking mode so I would that at the very least I expect some kind of that mechanic to go on otherwise it's not it's like, not Arkanoid you can just basically yeah <laughs> Because otherwise you're just slapping Arkanoid art on a pinball table right. and it's not going to carry forward. They they could do great things with that. And the thing is, Magic Pixel have got the chops to be able to do it. Yeah, They know clearly from these playfield designs, like barring the fact that they're a little bit flat at the moment, yeah, 
they know how to make bespoke tables probably definitely better than farsight did with their own creations well, we like we like their ems they're, they're really, really good. good at ems yeah so they are i'm and and from what people are saying i don't know if the physics have made their way to pc that they're talking about but they've a lot of people that are owners of of the at games products and have the zacharia packs have said that the physics had gotten improved recently and they're really really good all um, right so i mean i got no issue i'm i'm happy for magic pixel that they're yeah. getting uh getting this opportunity um being approached this is to do right. something they made the right choice here. Mm-hmm. Like at Games picked the right vendor yeah. here to do this work. So good on them for yeah. for selecting the right vendor. Because, here. because again, I think that uh, that Magic Pixel understands this era of art very style. well. Yeah. Oh, very very well. They've got this. They've got this for sure. Yeah. 